hi in today's video i would like to introduce you a very nice improper integral it said as i x goes from zero to plus infinity cosine of x squared dx this is integral is kind of Fresnel. this this type of this integral is, is called the Fresnel integral in fact this is in advanced integrals but just with we have taken the particular case of this integral normally we have the cosine a x squared okay now we're taking a equal to one and then we solve it in such easier way okay so now i'm going to transfer this integral into the gaussian integral it's more known integral okay <clears throat> so i have previously i did the similar integral to this one it was sine x squared okay dx i have used the jacobin transformation as a method so if you are interested to watch the proof just at the end of this video i add the link to the comment section so you can watch it later so now i'm going to start with this one now so i have in general i'm going to use the euler formula as a as a start I'm going to use the Euler formula as a tool e to the x square equal cosine of x square plus i sine x square okay I'm going to I'm going to plug the integral on both sides I will get so the integral of cosine of x square dx as x goes from 0 to plus infinity equal to a real number real number of the of this integral as x goes from 0 to plus infinity of e to the x square dx okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to make the kind of substitution here let's set i x square equal to minus z square okay so i'm going to use the complex number here i x square equal to i square z square because minus one equal to i square i'm going to cancel out one of the i from both sides i will get i get x square equal to i z square by plugging the square root on both sides i will get x equal to plus or minus square root of i z okay since we are talking about the positive numbers because x goes from 0 to plus infinity so we are going to take only the positive number which is square root of iz okay so i'm going to differentiate this one i will, I will have dx equal to square root of i dz okay i'm going to plug this information into this integral so i will get as x go as x goes from 0 to plus infinity of cosine x square dx we call the real number of this integral so for the bound z it will be the same thing as zero it goes from z is go for, it goes from zero to plus infinity e to i x square is already is already taken as a minus z square dx is replaced by square root of i dz okay i'm taking this square root of i outside of this integral because it considered as a constant so we'll have a real number of this number complex square root of i the integral goes from zero to plus infinity of e minus z square dz okay so now i'm going to calculate this term separately i'm going to calculate square root of i first then go i'm going to calculate square root of i i'm going to take the real number of this square root of i so square root of i is written on this form as a plus i b a plus i b so i'm going to raise number two on, i'm going to raise number two as a power on both sides so i will get i equal to a square plus two times a b i minus b square as we take as we take i square equal to minus one is given as minus sign in the front of b square so i will have the equation system okay 
so we'll have e square by matching the number so imaginary number equal to the imaginary number real number equal to the real number as you see here as we have like zero plus i so this one it can be written like zero plus i equal to a square minus b square as a real number plus another term which is two times a b i zero equal to this term this is zero by matching the numbers this equal to one so i will have the equation system here so we have a square minus b square equal to zero i will have two times a b equal to one by solving this equation i will get a square equal to b square in this equation i will get a square equal to one divided by two times b square by taking square by taking square on both sides so I'm, I'm going to replace this term into it's I'm going to replace b square with its value so I will get e square equal 1 over 4 e square I'm going to multiply side by side I will get 4 times e to the fourth equal to 1 it's equivalent e to the fourth equal to 1 over 4 this equivalent a equal plus or minus 1 over 4 to the 1 over 4 which is which is square root of 2 over 2 okay so this one become 2 to the 2 this one become uh, 1 over 2 the whole thing is to the 1 over 2 okay so these two will be these two will be cancelled out with these two I will be left one with 1 over 2 to the 1 over 2 which is square root of 2 okay square root of 2 over 2 <coughs> so now so I have deter have determined so equal to a equal to plus or minus <coughs> so for the b it will be the same thing uh, equal to plus or minus b because we have the because we have the equal e e because it has the equality x squared equal to b squared i will have plus or minus square root of 2 over 2 so a b must be positive because we have the integral is positive so this implies a equal to b equal to square root of 2 over 2 okay this implies i'm going to replace a and b with its value i will get square root of i equals square root of 2 over 2 plus square root of 2 over 2 i okay as we said before i'm taking the real number of this one which is this one okay i'm going to clean up the board and bring this important thing at the top and continue with our problem in the last board i was working on this number complex and came up with these values okay so now i'm going to calculate this integral we already proved this integral equal to real number of square root of i is multiplied by this integral as z it goes from zero to plus infinity e to the minus z square dz okay i'm going to take only the real number of this uh, number complex so i will get my integral of cosine from zero to plus infinity of cosine of x square dx equals square root of 2 over 2 is multiplied by this integral as as z goes from 0 to plus infinity of e minus z square dz so this integral is a gaussian integral its value equal square root of pi over 2 okay because we know in the gaussian integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of integral e to the minus z square dz equals square root of pi okay it's very famous integral since this is since this function is an even function that's mean in this integral equal two times of the integral as z goes from zero to plus infinity okay that's mean from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the minus z square dz equal two times of as x of z, as z goes from zero to plus infinity 
e to the minus z square dz so that's mean this integral equal to square root of pi over 2 okay finally the integral of this one as x goes from 0 to plus infinity of cosine x square dx equal to square root of 2 over 2 is multiplied by square root of pi over 2 I'm going to put everything inside of the square root I would get square root of pi over 8 okay in fact there is a bunch of ways to solve this integral I prefer Jacobin transformation is the best one I would recommend to watch that proof because it's more easier and helpful it takes you very quickly to the answer I have evaluated this integral successfully if you have any question or suggestion just put it in the comment section below just consider to subscribe thank you for watching i will see you in next video bye